What's up everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome back to my world of stocks. Now every year I like to give you guys an update on some of my absolute favorite artificial intelligence stocks for the long term. And this time I'll be choosing six stocks in total, which is quite a lot. So we'll have to do this in a very fast kind of rapid fire style but it's gonna be a ton of fun. I actually went with six stocks because I sort of chose a mixture here of one low risk, one high risk, one low, one high, and then one low, one high. So we'll kind of keep it in that order, but either way, the future of AI is looking extremely bright right now with estimates of it adding many trillions of dollars to the global economy. And the stocks I chose this year are some of the best, most amazing plays on that future. Some are already very giant, kind of safer leaders, while others are much smaller and riskier, but also fast growing and just really kind of up and coming stars in the field that I think should be on your radar. So if you're with me, if you appreciate the hard work that goes into these videos, then please consider subscribing. Right now, YouTube cares the most about subscriptions more than anything else. So if you wanna help keep my channel alive, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And I thank you for that support. But with all that said, let's not waste any more time. So we got six stocks to run through here that I think are gonna play big roles on the future of AI. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so starting with stock number one, you know what, screw it. Let's just get the biggest elephant in the room out of the way first and kick things off with Nvidia, ticker symbol NVDA, who I know it's already climbed by a gigantic amount. So how could anyone possibly still be investing in this stock? Well, that's because when it comes to AI, it could be argued that nobody stands to benefit more from the rise of it than Nvidia. In fact, according to research from JP Morgan, analysts think that Nvidia will generate the most AI related revenue this year of any other company at a mind blowing 60% market share. And that's because Nvidia not only sells the best performing hardware to actually power AI with more supercomputers running on Nvidia GPUs than really any other rival, but they also develop software for it too that in combination, offers solutions to so many different markets using AI, including autonomous driving, the data center, which by the way, quadrupled in sales over the past two years, but there's also gaming, there's the internet of things, there's smart cities, I think that'll be a huge one, there's the metaverse, there's generative AI, and so much more. So if you wanna make a play on AI for the future, going with Nvidia is probably one of the surest bets you can make, and by the way, even with the recent skyrocketing in price, Nvidia's valuation is actually still cheaper than the sector on a PEG ratio basis because of all of that future growth potential, which they're already seeing the benefits of after more than tripling their sales last quarter alone. How crazy is that? Moving on to stock number two though, if you want another big play on the future of artificial intelligence, then why not go with the stock that literally has AI as their ticker symbol, which is of course the company C3.AI, ticker symbol AI. And as the name implies, this is a company that specializes in AI software technologies, providing data analytics for any company that needs it across a multitude of different industries. For example, bank and financial institutions use C3's machine learning capabilities to detect fraud across a giant amount of financial data that humans would probably miss, which has already shown to decrease false positive alerts by a whopping 85% while also increasing the accuracy of suspicious activity by as much as 200%. It's also used for smarter lending, where it improves the efficiency and accuracy of risk monitoring and loan acceptance. It's used by law enforcement and the military for things like crime monitoring, spatial awareness, and strategic planning. And it even gets used for large scale asset management, like in the oil and gas sector, where they've shown to reduce unplanned downtime by as much as 50%, while also reducing the total maintenance costs by as much as a quarter of it as well. But it doesn't even stop there, as more recently, C3 has also been a huge help in solving all the supply chain issues that are lingering from the pandemic, where they've shown to reduce inventory levels and holding costs by as much as 50%, while also reducing shipping costs by another 30% as well. And all of it is just at a software level, meaning that it's pretty easy for companies to immediately 
immediately implement and start benefiting right away from hiring C3, which I think could be a major growth driver for them long term. And while the stock has already soared by almost 150% this year, you have to remember that it's also down about 85% from the pandemic highs, which granted that was during a bit of a tech bubble, but if it can recoup even just a small fraction of those losses, it would still translate to substantial gains over time. The company is not yet profitable though and is probably the riskiest stock that we'll be covering in today's video, but longer term, it might still be a spec stock worth considering, especially for that future of AI. Moving on to stock number three though, we'll go back to a lower risk option here for anyone that didn't like uh, C3 and actually go with one of my biggest core foundational stocks that I think anyone can build an entire portfolio around, let alone just for having more exposure to AI. And that stock is of course the almighty Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT, who in many ways is considered the catalyst for really kicking off the most recent hype train surrounding AI this past year with the launch of ChatGPT, which is of course backed by Microsoft and being implemented into various parts of their own business as well, including Search, Office Productivity Software, and of course their giant cloud platform Azure, which in my opinion, Azure is the most important of all, as AI requires massive amounts of computing power that smaller companies just aren't able to produce themselves. So turning to the second largest cloud platform in the world is a great way of using giant infrastructure that is already built out for them, which after integrating GPT-4, the Azure OpenAI service has now grown to more than 18,000 firms, while paid co-pilot users has also surpassed over 1 million in total, and that's just this past year alone. Speaking of which, Microsoft also launched that new service this year called Copilot for Enterprise that allows businesses to use their AI-powered features within 365 to enhance productivity. The service costs $30 per user per month and can go even higher for added services like Copilot for GitHub, which incorporates coding uh, as well and costs almost $40 a month per user. So considering the hundreds of thousands of employees that many large corporations tend to have, you can see how this could really start to ramp up into a major growth driver for Microsoft in the future. And there's tons of other AI related work that they're doing too that I just really don't have enough time to run through in this short video. But even after seeing the stock climb by so much, the fact is that Microsoft almost always trades pretty close to an all time high. So even at today's levels, I still consider it a great addition to anyone's portfolio, especially for those looking for some fantastic long term exposure to AI. Moving on to stock number four, though, we have really one of my favorite speculative stocks just in general in the AI data management and analysis company Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, who provides those AI services to both government and commercial entities in order to improve their accuracies and efficiencies, where they're consistently winning new government contracts worth hundreds of millions of dollars every few months, it feels like, while companies also continue to hire Palantir for improving how their business is run. And after recently implementing their new AI platform for large language models into both their defense and business segments, the stock skyrocketed this year right along with most other AI related companies, given all the recent generative AI hype. However, this one to me really feels different than most because they're actually delivering on everything that they promise and their customer accounts continue to rise as a result, even with the horrible economy that we've been experiencing. In the last quarter, for example, total customer count grew by over 30%, while commercial customers grew by even more at 45%. That's a huge deal, because according to analysts, over 90% of companies have been actively preparing for a recession this past year. So to still be hiring a company like Palantir shows just how in demand they are and how useful their services can really be. For example, this data analyst from a recent AI bootcamp that Palantir was holding at their company to train the employees, well, he said that they'd been working with other entities for months without getting any results. But after working with Palantir, they got the results that they were looking for in less than eight hours. Now, as a result, after only five months since launch, Palantir's new AI platform is already being used by nearly 300 organizations 
and was ranked number one by the DAS Machine Learning and Data Science 2023 report. And financially, Palantir has also been on fire, which after being criticized for years by analysts for their lack of profitability, Palantir has finally turned a corner, with the last four quarters in a row seeing positive net income while adjusted free cash flow also rose by nearly four times the amount year over year. And the balance sheet carries billions in cash and securities with zero debt too, which is very strong. So as speculative as Palantir has always been considered, I think you need to start taking them much more seriously now. And with a PEG ratio of only less than one, I actually still think that it's a solid long-term pickup. This will, however, leave us now though with the final two stocks of the list. And I might have saved the best one of all for stock number five here, because I think it's arguably the best stock just in general in the entire market, let alone just in the AI space. But that is, of course, Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L, who actually has a pretty good shot at really gaining more exposure to AI than maybe anyone else over the long term. And that's because AI will be, of course, extremely data dependent. And well, it can certainly be argued that Google collects more user data than really any other company in the world, as they not only have by far the most internet search market share at over 90%, but they also have the most internet browser market uh, market share at over 60%. They have the largest video social media platform with YouTube. They have more smartphone data because of Android, which holds over 70% market share. They have the most email at over 75%, which is huge because there's over 300 billion emails being sent every single day. And they also have the most travel data with Google Maps at over 80% market share. They have the most advertising data with nearly 40% market share. And as if all of that wasn't enough, they even have the third largest cloud computing platform in the world too that can help them process and power all of that data through AI as well. Plus they have their own version of ChatGPT in Google Bard. And most recently, they also just announced this past week a new model called Gemini, which is getting a huge amount of hype and attention for not only using text, but also implementing image, video, and audio data as well, which again, Google absolutely dominates these different types of data. So I can only imagine just how powerful Gemini will become over time. And look, I get that the stock has been on fire and already climbed by over 50% in 2023, but even here, it is still somehow trading cheaper than the sector on a PG ratio basis. And I'm sorry, but that should never be the case for this market leader. I'm gonna continue buying this stock until people realize just how much potential they have long-term, especially with AI. But finishing up with stock number six, so if you want a little bit of a riskier, smaller version of Google that could potentially dominate AI in similar ways, but with a bigger focus on the giant Chinese and Asian markets instead, then look no further than Baidu, ticker symbol B-I-D-U, which has been a staple in the AI portion of my portfolio for some time now. And as long as it continues to trade at one of the lowest prices in the past decade, I'm gonna continue to be a buyer. Cause similarly to Google, Baidu also controls dominant market share for search, except it's out in China where they hold almost 70%. Plus they have the fourth largest cloud platform in the country as well, which actually climbs to number one when you isolate for just AI cloud. But when it comes to AI, Baidu is a leader not just in China, but also in the entire world, as they have more AI patents than any other company ever, which Statista estimates at around 10 times larger than Google too. How crazy is that? So you couple it with their efforts in autonomous driving, generative AI, finance AI, robotics, digital advertising, and much more. I mean, they even make their own AI chips too that directly compete with Nvidia. And so you couple all of that together, and I think you've got one heck of an AI play here especially for the giant Chinese market. But what do you all think? Do you like any of my picks here? Are you invested in any of these stocks or what other AI type of stocks did I leave out that you think should have made the list and maybe what would you replace for it? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section, but thank you so much for stopping by my friends and I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for all your support and I will catch you in the next one. All right, take care everybody. Bye-bye.